Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. I hope you had a spectacular day today. Boy, it was beautiful. Sunshine, the warmest day of the season so far in many locations. And, um, well, it's over. <laughs> the clouds have already moved in, and uh, that spells a big change in our weather here are four things to know wet on Thursday the possibility of some thunderstorms not sold on that in terms of uh, seeing them around the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area most likely in the higher terrain but a good idea to keep that 4 News Now first alert weather app handy tomorrow just in case it is going to be much cooler in the forecast rain through Saturday and then possibility of some showers on Monday Today we had up to 69, did not hit that 70 degree mark. We have not had a 70 degree day in Spokane yet. Um, we're overdue. Our average date to hit that number is April 17th. And um, we could make a run at the record for the latest day. Uh, now that is still a couple of weeks away, but I don't see another day like today in the forecast. Quite the opposite. We have got a cold front approaching and it's got a lot of moisture to work with. Here's a look at our satellite. I've got the radar on there for you as well. Already starting to see some wet weather working its way into extreme northwestern Washington. It won't be long until that uh, makes its way across the Cascades. Our forecast radar shows overcast conditions tonight. By tomorrow morning, we have a chance of rain. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning with light rain around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. May get some breaks mid-morning, but by noon, we are in the thick of it, and we'll keep that chance of rain going uh, through tomorrow evening. Uh, we'll get a little bit of a break, but there's more rain on the way for Friday. Here's our chance of precipitation over the next several days, and this is changed a little bit from day to day. It looked like Friday was going to be the wettest day for a while, and then Saturday. Now it's tomorrow. Uh, Friday, a 40% chance of showers. We should get some breaks. Saturday, now we're back up to 60% chance of rain. Sunday, right now, looks dry, but that's another one you might want to check back on if you have some sort of a grand outdoor gesture for Mother's Day. It's not going to be like an awesome day to be outside regardless. 51 for high and uh, kind of cloudy and breezy. Monday, a 20% chance of rain. Overnight lows tonight will be fairly warm. We'll be in the 50s, 40s and 50s around the region with high temperatures tomorrow in the 50s and even the 60s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Um, showers tomorrow, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, rain on Friday, showers on Saturday. Uh, Mother's Day, 53 and mostly cloudy. 52 on Monday with mostly cloudy skies. And then we begin to warm up a little bit as we get into the middle of next week but nowhere near average um, I also want to draw your attention to those overnight lows because they are going to be on the cool side Saturday Sunday and Monday night a lot of people use Mother's Day as a good day to get the annuals in the ground I would hold off um, if you're going to make a big expenditure you know you grab a pony pack a petunias at Home Depot for $3.99 plant away but if you've got the landscape scapers coming in with a flatbed truck full of something that will not enjoy temperatures down in the lower 30s then call them up and tell them to hold off that's my advice um, thank you so much for watching. I will be back here tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you. And uh, stay dry tomorrow.